What do you think about the Alaska Airlines pilot high on magic mushrooms while flying? It sounds like he's unfit to be a pilot. And congrats on the sobriety, Sasquatch. I don't have like a crazy take on that. Probably shouldn't be doing magic mushrooms and flying. An insurance company leak? No, I don't even know what you're referring to, Unwavering. Have you seen a cheeseburger milkshake? I've had a chicken tender milkshake, but never a cheeseburger milkshake. Is it this? Have oh, we got- <laughs> Wait, this is Ray William Johnson. That's so OG. He's been killing it on the shorts recently. I see him pop up every now and then. On too far. What the hell is this? Who is this for? Imagine being such a fat turd that you have to drink your milkshake through a cheese- Kinda cool idea, I guess. You said this isn't American? Are you sure? This must be like American inspired at the very least. This is some patriotic shit. Star Citizen really- well yeah, I mean Star Citizen is actually somehow <laughs> making strides into getting to completion which blows my mind. Burger. Do you drink your beer through a slice of meat lover's pizza, you damn glutton? By the way, this isn't even American. This restaurant is in Colombia. They're trying to out America America! <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd try it. I'll stick with the chicken tender milkshake if I ever need something disgusting. Or I ever need to vomit. You see the video of the taxi driver getting robbed but then sped up and the robbers started begging to get out? No, that's a big brain strategy though. I think the tier one vivid. That is actually such a big brain strat. I've got no good advice, Oliver. As long as he's having fun, I think that's the most important thing. The Alaska pilot turned off the engines and nearly killed everyone on board. He's being charged with 80 counts of attempted murder. Holy shit. Alaska Airlines off-duty pilot pleads not guilty, talked magic mushrooms after allegedly trying to cut engines. Said he was having a nervous breakdown. See, this is something that I've always had in the back of my head. It's not like the root cause of my fear of flying. But, like, you never know what kind of person is piloting that. I remember there was a story a long, long time ago where, I think it was Germany, a German pilot decided he, I think it was even the co-pilot, Decided that he wanted to commit suicide, he waited for the pilot to go to the bathroom, locked him in the bathroom, and then crashed the plane into a mountain, killing everyone on board. It's like, you never fucking know who's actually up there. And that's scary. You seen the Sniper Wolf ban, ban evading situation? I've seen some of the, the claims and evidence about it. It's not per se ban evading, but it certainly would be a violation of the rules, I would imagine. We can talk about it in a minute. And favorite Gears of War is Gears of War 1. Joseph Emerson was charged after an incident on Sunday where he allegedly tried to turn off the engine of a plane traveling from Everett, Washington to San Francisco. The airline says he unsuccessfully attempted to disrupt the operation of the engine. So what stopped him? Did the plane fight back? Wow, he kind of looks like James McAvoy. Emerson pleaded not guilty on Tuesday. <clears throat> to state level charges including 83 counts of attempted murder, 83 counts of reckless endangerment, and one count of endangering an aircraft. He was sitting in the flight deck jump seat. He's also facing a federal charge of interfering with flight crew members and attendants. Alaska Airlines said Emerson was unsuccessful in shutting down the engines by engaging the fire suppression system. The fire suppression system consists of a T-handle for each engine. If the T-handle is fully deployed, a valve in the wing closes to shut off fuel to the engine. In this case, the quick reaction of our crew to reset the T-handles ensured engine power was not lost. Okay. So the rest of the crew stepped in to stop them. Heroes. And congrats for that, Pity Pat. And thank you. And soon, Desperado. It wasn't a pilot, it was a passenger who was also a pilot. Well, it, it's not a passenger, right? Isn't this a... What did they say? 
He was in the jump seat or whatever the fuck it was called. God, I just read it too. Where was it? Son of a bitch. Yeah, jump seat. There it is. He was sitting in the flight deck jump seat. I don't exactly know what that is. I'm not familiar with the anatomy of a plane, but I imagine it's pretty close to the controls. Probably more so than a pilot. Or, more so than a passenger. Above it says off-duty. Yeah, yeah, I know he wasn't the pilot. I, I know that. Federal charging document state Emerson told police he didn't take any medication but said he was depressed, adding it was his first time taking psychedelic mushrooms. Prosecutors also say Emerson told law enforcement officers he was having a nervous breakdown and had not slept in 40 hours when he allegedly tried to shut down the plane's engine. I didn't feel okay. It seemed like the pilots weren't paying attention to what was going on. They didn't. It didn't seem right. Yeah, I pulled both emergency shutoff handles because I thought I was dreaming and I was just going to wake up. Fucking frightening. Christ. He tries to blame the pilots, that's crazy. Well, I mean, they forced the, the mushrooms down his throat. It's clearly their fault. They weren't, they weren't paying enough attention to his mental state. Well, glad it didn't end in tragedy. But yet another thing to put in the back of my mind about how scary flying is. Awesome. Oh, is that the salt shooting gun, Ethan, for cockroaches? I did see that. That's old. Come on, the odds of that happening again are astronomical. Yeah, but it only takes one freak incident. <laughs> like, that's all it takes. You don't get another chance. You get one dude on magic mushrooms who hasn't slept in 40 hours, thinks he's dreaming, shuts off the emergency tea handles, and then you're kaput. That'd be so mad. Thanks, Charlie. I have a flight tomorrow. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, I mean, I can spout all the statistics to you. It's like the safest thing ever. Does, does me no good, maybe it helps you.